A lot of people think that scams operate exclusively overseas, especially ones that come from those robocalls and scam texts that you might get. For dispute on this charge, press one to connect with our Amazon customer care representative. But in fact, there are numerous LLCs and corporations right here in the United States with the sole intent of scamming you out of your hard-earned money. In this video, we're not only going to expose an Amazon Alexa scam, but we're gonna travel across the country and confront the people responsible face to face. My name is Ashton and welcome to Trilogy Media. Make sure you watch to the end of this video and click that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos just like this. My business partner Art and I are about to travel across the country to expose the inner workings of a scam operation targeting owners of the Amazon Alexa. But before we do, let's take a look at how the scam actually works. Now we can't take credit for tracking this scam down. For this video, it is our honor to collaborate with the endlessly talented scam bait YouTube channels of Pleasant Green and Deo. Their links are listed below and they both deserve your click and a subscribe. Before we begin this very unpredictable investigation, I'd love to shout out Surfshark, the sponsor of this video and the VPN that we use here at Trilogy Media exclusively. Online scams are everywhere and they're only getting worse and your online privacy has never been more vulnerable than it is right now. Surfshark is both an app and a browser extension that lets you connect to the internet securely while keeping all of your photos and your videos, your passwords, your data, everything safe. And the coolest part is that inside the app, you can actually change your virtual location to anywhere in the world, which will also let you access content online that you may not have access to otherwise by bypassing something called geo restrictions. YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, you will never again be blocked from content online just because it's restricted in your country. You need to keep yourself safe online. Get Surfshark today. By using the link in the description below, you're going to get the best deal that you can find on Surfshark. You're going to get 83% off the price of Surfshark, and then you're going to get an extra four months of service for free on top of that. And you're also supporting our channel to help us keep making videos like this and expose scammers every single day. This offer will expire, so click that link in the description after this video and check it out. So last month, Art and I received a call from our friends Pleasant Green and Deo. There they are. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up, Hey, man? guys. Who both had already invested a great deal of time exposing and baiting an Amazon Alexa scam. I've got an Alexa device here. The scam looks something like this. Let's say you're setting up your brand new Echo Dot, or even your current Alexa is malfunctioning and won't connect to the internet. So you go to Google and you type Amazon Echo Alexa support or download Alexa app. And right away, you'll see a bunch of paid advertisement search results on the top for many different websites that claim to help you set up or fix your Alexa in a snap. What they've done is they, they're buying all these ads that you can see and they're at the top of the screen. So, you know, if you're old and not savvy, you're gonna probably click on the top link. Just one of the many examples is this website right here, echosetupalexa.com. Looks pretty straightforward. You click here to download the Alexa app, and then you're taken down the page here with links to download for various devices. I'm on a Mac, so I want to download from the App Store. When I click on it, it should take me to the App Store, but instead I get this sneaky little pop-up on the top here with a progress bar claiming that my download has already started. And after a few moments, the download will fail every single time at 69%. See, there it is. Wow. There's the error. Every time. Every time. Every time. You're then prompted to chat with Alexa experts, which are conveniently located down here with this live chat feature. You're then immediately connected with somebody asking if you're looking for Alexa support and then asking you for your name and telephone number. So I sent my elderly character Mortimer Mugglefart into the helpline, gave them my phone number, and received a call almost immediately. Whoa. Hello? Hello. Yeah. This is Harry from Support. He just contacted us for the Alexa setup. I got, I got one of these Alexa dealios. I don't really understand all the internets. Uh, may I know your name and your email address, please, that you have with Amazon? Uh, my name is Mortimer. Yes, I see that uh, you have an Echo Dot. And I see that the device is offline, like it can't connect to the internet right now. Okay, she uses Wi-Fi for that. She? So we need to check on the computer on the internet settings. Who's 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 she? Uh, Alexa, the Echo Dot. Oh, it's a female, you say? <laughs> okay. Type in this website. It's www.teamviewer.com. 
Com. Now, as you might expect, the first thing the scammer wants to do is remote connect to my computer. Now, Pleasant Green and Deo have already done an amazing job and spent many hours baiting these scammers and allowing them to connect to a virtual machine, which in turn has generated a lot of information about this scam. Firstly, they run some commands on your computer and tell you that your computer is infected, which is why the Echo Dot isn't working. They run this command where they basically say, oh, look at this. You've got viruses. You've got um, foreign people in your computer that have stopped your programs from running. Now, it's all smoke and mirrors, but they convince you that you need to purchase their support services to fix the errors on your computer in order to resolve the Alexa issue. By the way, I've talked to probably six victims that have spent tons of money. One person I talked to was a quadriplegic, and he's like, my life depends on my Alexa, so I paid them. Oh and my they god. Me, and they charge you a crazy amount. They ended up charging Deo $970. <laughs> How many Alexas could you buy with that? My god. Because I said, I want the longest one. They had the five-year one as longest, and because I said I want the longest one, they added an extra two years and made a seven-year one. Secondly, we learn that they accept the payments for these services online only through third-party merchant websites. Again, shout out to Deo. In his scam bait, they first take him to a website called bostoy.com, where they instruct him to pay with a credit card. Now, what is Bostoy, you may ask? Let's take a look. According to Google, it's a corporation located in Dover, Delaware. We have an address, pictures of the building, and a phone number that connects to nowhere. They've got killer reviews, though. Now, the website Bostoy.com had a bunch of generic, nonsensical wording and stock imagery, but as of filming this right now, the website no longer exists. I think we spooked them. I then searched for the official entity records, and it turns out that they are an actual corporation registered with the state of Delaware, somehow in good standing. We're gonna talk more about Bostoy in a little bit. Back to Deo's scam bait. After telling the scammers that he can't pay by credit card, but only by check, they direct him to a different website entirely, gscomputersupportservice.com. Here, they tell you to click the button for e-debit, then down here, click pay now, where you can enter your routing and account numbers to process an e-check. How convenient. Now, upon doing more research on gscomputersupportservice.com, I came across another website called gscsupportservices.com, which similarly has a prompt to pay now, which takes you to a credit card payment page hosted by Stripe. Both websites for GSC have contact information, including phone numbers and a business address in Arlita, California. Now, according to the California Secretary of State website, GS Computer Support Services Inc. is a registered California corporation, registered to a man named Balwinder in Arlita, California. Hmm. Now, keep in mind, some things in this video are going to be blurred, but that's not done to protect the scammers. It's done to protect this channel. But all of this is public information anyway, so have at it. We also tried calling the 800 number listed on the website. Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach GSC Support Services. Wrong number. Now to add an even bigger mindfuck, after Deo made a fake payment for the Alexa support, the invoice that the scammers sent him came from a different company entirely called One Click Geeks, who also have a website. And it's fucking awful. Now up until recently, their website had the exact same address in its footer as Bostoy in Dover, Delaware. They've since changed it to Vero Beach, Florida. Weirdly enough, after my conversation with the scammers as Mortimer Mugglefart, I then received a call from another scammer claiming to be from One Click Geeks. This is Jason and I'm calling you from One, One Click Geeks. Yeah, how did you get my number here? Amazon Alexa. I then continued to gloriously waste a lot of his time so he can't scam other people. Then the check we wear. It won't be doing no good. He too wanted to remote connect to my computer, but I continued to insist that I don't know what my administrator password is and couldn't get through. Now, of course, this whore hound from One Click Geeks had a perfect solution for how I can reset my administrator password. So you just need to get a GP, a Google Play card that will come up $200 from nearby store in which there is an alphanumeric number which can be used to use to recover your administrator password. Please check out and subscribe to Pleasant Green and Deo's YouTube channels. They've done an amazing job of exposing this scam and even tracking down the actual building in India where these calls originate. They've also had some hilarious fun with these scammers, including showing them footage and pictures of their own building. You're not gonna wanna miss that, so go watch their videos after this. But here at Trilogy Media, we're gonna take things a step further. I wanna know who's behind those doors in Arlita, California and Dover, Delaware. Arlita is much closer to us, so we're gonna start there. Oh, there's 
gonna park right here. Knock one more time. Just want to see if any. Let me give it like 15 minutes in the car. Just see, maybe they come home. Yeah, I was, I, I was able to see through the window a little bit. Didn't see any movement. Yep. Well, there's a car there, which means that even if they, someone has gone to work, there's someone else that theoretically would be home or be coming home. If it's just one person with a job, you know, why would he have two cars? I don't know. I can try calling that um, 2 1 something number that could theoretically lead us. Yeah, 2132. Okay, I have not seen that number before. That could be his number. And this says it's a mobile number. So there's two numbers options. So what if we call him up and confirm that it's him? Like ask him, if, is this uh, yeah, ball, ball winder? Yeah, this is, yeah, that's And just me. introduce ourselves and say, we need to talk to you about um, GS Computer Support Services Incorporated. And before we file a police report, we would like to talk to you and get your side of the story as to what's going on. Talk to you in person, let us yeah. know what... Are you home or home? where are you? Can mm -hmm. we meet you? Can we meet you? Okay. Okay. Uh, Ballwinder. Interesting name. Uh, Seat who? Okay. Here we go. Please enter your temporary access code. If you do not have an access... That's usually a home phone answering thing. So that's probably his home. Let me try this other number. It might be his mobile number. If we're not able to get a hold of him, um, we can another day and come again. Come in a different time. I can text him. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. He's, blo he's ignoring that. The ring is a lot shorter. Why don't I text him? Okay. Key to play. Who's this? Oh, shit. Let me record my... Well, actually, no. I'm going to probably just call him. Okay, so he is this Ballwinder? Let me just confirm. Well, this could be interesting. He's there. Let me see if he'll confirm that it's him. Oh, he got spooked. Mm-hmm. No, no, but, but I, I know, know him. him. What mm. the? F That's weird. No, it's not me. But I know him. What do you want from him? No, but I know him. What the hell does Who that mean? Who like that? That's so weird. Let me just let me call him. Let me just call this guy. It's a him. He just yeah. Mm -hmm. It is him. Automatic voice message mm -hmm. system eight one okay. eight two. So that's why I was like trying to play safe, maybe go from different route by saying um, we have money, we have computer problems, we with customers. But meanwhile, I don't want to say like, yeah, there is police, we're going to arrest you, get your ass. And he was like, okay, gone with the wind. Let me text him. Please give me two minutes to explain why, what's going on. Well, we can go babank, let's call it Russian, all the way in. You tell him like, if you're not going to give me mm -hmm. explain, I'm going to, I'm going to go can, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's an option. Yeah. 
you won't communicate or pass his number, um, we're gonna press charges, we're going to police. Mm -hmm. Or we can just say we're outside his house now. Yeah, yeah. So listen, I'm not involved with business at all. say this I'm not harassing just trying trying to get some answers before we're gonna file a police report we're outside of his house mm -hmm. and police police will be here Sorted out then. He sounds very confident. Yeah, he's cocky. Mm -hmm. It's him. I, I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's him. And he's a snarky little fuck. I guess the answers are coming soon. I like the idea of leaving notes, especially right now when, you know, and he's gonna hear about from his relative or whoever. Oh, he'll hear about it, he yeah. He'll hear about it, and then he will come home. Mm -hmm. And it will be another note. Mm -hmm. so he has, he like, knows we're here. He we weren't know, bullshitting. He, he knows that we're... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's leave a note. Well, let, I, me, I, let me write something and why don't you just go drop it by the door? Ballwinder, we are in the process of filing a police report against GS Computer Services. Need to talk to you. It's urgent. Call me. Like this? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, maybe just try to wedge it in the door somehow so it stays. And then oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. yeah, all right. We've made some progress, but we still have a lot of work to do. We're gonna go back to the Arlita house later on in this video, so make sure you watch to the end. Back to Bostoy. Their address in Dover, according to Google and the entity report, includes a suite B. Pleasant Green tracked down the phone number to the building manager of this office and called them to see if we can get any more information on suite B. I called them and they didn't want to give me any information. She's just like, yeah, they're they're a business. I, I can't really give you any information. I can just tell you that they're registered in the state of Delaware and they rent out suite B. I'm like, are they there? Can I visit? And they, they didn't tell me anything. The Northwest registered agent is their registered agent. So is that based out of this office? Yeah. It's, it's sweet, B. But they wouldn't disclose much. We also called the phone number for Northwest Registered Agent Service, which is also referenced at this address and is the registered agent for Bostoy. Northwest Registered Agent, this is Tiffany, how may I help you? I'm looking for some information on a business that uh, might be registered with you. What's the name of the company? Bostoy Incorporated. So we we may have that as one of our clients. Unfortunately, legally, we cannot give out any information. But they weren't much help either. Now, at this point, Art and I are so invested in this investigation that we just can't stop ourselves. We're going to fly to Delaware and pay a visit to Bostoy in person. Let's go. Around the corner from the Bostoy Incorporated, ate the green, suite B. According to the screenshots we've seen, it looks like there was a communal entrance. Is that it? Yeah. Are you getting this? There is a camera right in your fucking face. Dude, that door looks like nobody opens in fucking uh, Dracula. Yeah. The Delaware Company House. What the fuck is that? Let me have the uh, boss, okay. just the boss toy paperwork. Yes, boss toy. Thank you. 
Okay, so if this door's locked, we fucked. Well, in a way. All right. Delaware Company House. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Is this Sweet Bee? Oh, still warm. Hi. Is it Sweet Bee? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> yeah, we're looking for Bee. For Bee? Yeah. Bostoy Incorporated? No, no, we're, we're not, not serving. serving. No, we're not serving. We just want to speak to somebody that works for Bostoy Incorporated. Oh, no one's here for Bostoy Incorporated. They're in that business. Have a office. So is this whole building virtual offices only? So there's not actually a suite B. There's no door. No door for suite B. Okay. Are you familiar with the companies? Like, are you the building manager? Or? No. 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 The manager's back here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Bostow Incorporated is a scam company. And what we do, we're documentary filmmakers, we're citizen journalists, we're trying to track down owners. We do a lot of investigations all over the U.S. We, like, we flew from Los Angeles to do this. And we did a lot of digging, and it's a lot of shady stuff happening with Bostow. That would be awesome. Yeah, sure, that would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I thought. Don't bullshit. Yeah, that's what they do. So what's... This is creepy. See, UPS pickup, USPS pickup, FedEx pickup. It's yeah, because it's virtual. It's like literally. So they can register and. Uh huh, exactly. Hi, Hi, how are you? My name is Art, this is Ashley. We're from Trilogy Media, and we um, investigate scams and we're documentary filmmakers. Boston Incorporated is registered at this address, is that correct? I can give you the information, I'm sorry. Well, that's. That's public information, the State of Delaware Entity Corporation. So Bostoy Incorporated is a corporation registered at 8 The Green Suite B. So you guys don't have suites here? It's a virtual yeah, address? I, we don't comment for the press, so we're Thank you so much. So you have nothing to say about the fact that Bostoy is scamming people? Yeah, but why, why, why are you so... You don't even want to hear what we have to say? That's very rude. Wow. We don't talk to a press <laughs> because press can take the dirt. Mm. Yeah and bring to Publix. All right. All right, cool. Unbelievable. That's what we can do. Yeah. First lady. Yeah. Give us more information than the manager. We don't talk to your press. Yeah, because your companies that are registered here are fucking shady as shit. Yeah. So there's not even suites. Like it's a one suite for everybody. Yeah, it, that's what she said. A, B, C, D. So all suites, one room, pick up packages up front, and manager who man who manages the building. Who's also kind of a bitch. Sure. She won't even hear what, we have, hear what we have to say. Yeah. She's like, I don't care. You scam me, please don't say. Like, People are so me. again, again, complicit. I wonder what's the, what's up here. This Delaware company house. Well, if they don't like media attention, they're about to get it. You don't want to talk to a press? <laughs> we're going to bring press to you. <laughs> we're going to bring press to you, yeah. Unbelievable. I bet you she's calling the cops. I hope she calls the cops, actually. <laughs> we'll have something, yeah. She said if you could leave the premises and lock the fucking door. What a bitch. That's kind of awesome, though. Uh-huh. So it what is? is all this back here? It's the same building. You know? Are those not offices? What is this building for? I don't get it. If just one main lobby for a virtual address, why are there three floors and what's back and there? there? And all the doors is open over there. It's like nobody lives there. It's so bizarre. Well, and the stairwell's blocked off, so it's yeah. like a like no one goes there. I'm wondering if she even know what she, for who she's. Oh, she doesn't about. even know what's going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think manager knows more than than that employee. Maybe. I mean, I don't want to like. Do you, what if you just go in and knock on the door and ask, you know, make, because I feel like if she sees all of us in there again. Yeah, I, I know, that I too. Know, what if you just go in on your own? Can I get a business card? Yeah. Yeah. Even, Even just for them as a company, yeah. for virtual offices. Yeah.
May I have a business card? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to harass anything. May I have a business card because I would love to talk to, to the owner about the stuff that if we found. If you have your business card, I will send it along. Okay, yeah, I will go to the car, we'll build, uh, bring a business card, but you got, you don't want to give any business card? card? Okay, but you know the owner? We don't make comments. If you want to give me your card, I'll be happy to do. Okay, sounds good. I will give it to you right now. She didn't want to give me a business card, but she said, if you have business card, I will pass along to, um, to the owner. She was like, I don't want to give any information. I don't want to give you business cards, nothing. But if you have a business card. All right, well, talking right from now, uh, if you want it, it's like, nobody will call us. But at least a note. It's right to know. That will be the best interest for the owner to contact us before we're gonna press charges and call police. We have all evidence that this is scam and boss story. This is huge scam and money laundering involved. Before we're gonna release to press, we wanna give him a chance to hear his side of the story. We're not bust. Right? So, yeah. Like if I you can, if you can, if you can pass to the I owner. Pass this along to our attorneys. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah, she made it clear. She was like, I'm not Bastoy. We're not Bastoy. So, that's all we can do. Yeah. Let's call, uh, let's call Ben. Oh, man. Well, listen. Uh, listen what happened. Um, that we, so. We showed up. The building's right behind us. Yes. Um, it's, the door's open, but there are no suites. It's one lobby kind of door. It's two computers. It's a lobby and they have suite number A, B, C, D. So all suites in one place. Yeah, there's no actual suites. It's just the vir it's virtual addresses like mm -hmm. we predicted. But there were two ladies there. One um, employee, one manager. And the first lady was the employee. She was nicer. And we started telling her, she said, yeah, that Bostoy is here, but they're not here. You know, we started telling her about Bostoy's, you know, nonsense. And uh, she's like, okay, hold on, let me get the manager. So the manager comes out just cold as F, um, was like, we don't talk to press, uh, le get, leave the property and shut the door and locked it on us. Yeah, um, she's like, I don't want to even hear it. I, I don't care what you have on uh, on this company. Like, get out of here. And she locked the door. So we went back. So we went outside. We, uh, went outside. we have a lot of footage of the building, which is kind of it's it's also inside. So you go left into her their office, and then there's a stairwell, but it's completely dark, and there's a rope across it that says "Don't enter." But this building is three stories high, and it's a long building. So I don't know what else is going on in this building. So wow. it's it's shady. It's shady, shady so much. Awesome work tracking all this down, and um, you know I don't have confidence it's, that they're gonna call us, but you know you never you, at least we tried. Well, it sounds like we've raised maybe more questions than answers, but maybe that's even more part of it. Hmm. We, we need <laughs> yeah, we need part two. Yes. We need part two. <laughs> we need to keep following up. Yeah. I'm not gonna give up finding the name of Bostoy. I'll keep talking to Tammy and see if she can give us a name. And I'm sure they're not in Delaware, but wherever they are, we can try to track them down again. Yeah. So. But at least this concludes this part and can set off the next thing. So we're gonna talk to you soon, okay? Yeah. Okay. You guys are great. Yeah. Right, right back at you. Likewise. Put this together. Thanks for setting all this up. Cheers, yeah. brother. We'll talk soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah, right, we'll do. See ya. We're back in LA with more questions than answers, but the journey just wouldn't be fun if it were simple. But we're not done just yet. Let's head back to the Arlita house. This time earlier in the morning and see if there's anyone there that can answer our questions. Company name, GS Computer Support Services, Inc. Chief Executive Officer, Ball Winder. 
So he is here at 13242 Reliant Street in Arleta, California. So just trying to making sure we're coming back. We left a note. Left a note. Nobody freaking opened the door. We, we sniff around, we scoop around, nothing, no movements, nothing. Week later, we're coming back. Yeah, but we're earlier today, so we'll see. Hopefully, maybe that'll give us a better chance. We'll see. GS Computer Support, essentially, they are the ones that are collecting money and, and processing credit cards uh, for this Amazon Alexa scam. And uh, they are doing it in conjunction with Bostoy. I don't know if Bostoy knows them personally, mm -hmm. but the scammers know of both because they send you to Bostoy to do an e-check, and if that doesn't work, they send you to GS Computer Support Services to put in a credit card. Okay, so, okay, so we need Ball Winder's the dude, and anyone that knows him. Can we talk to Ball Winder? Uh, he's no. Where, um, he lives here? Are you, are you his son? Who's Ball Winder? Can we talk to him? Is yeah. it any more relatives? Is there an adult, is any adult? Is any adult that we can talk to? Well, can we talk to her? Can we talk to your mom? Uh, I'm not speaking English, okay? Okay, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Uh, Ball, do you know Ball Winder? Is that your husband? No, my husband. But that's your husband, Ball Winder? No. no. You so just said your husband's not here, though. My husband is not here. Not okay. Well, what is the name of your husband? My husband's name is Gandhi. Who's Ball Winder? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Ball Winder Singh Sidhu. Yeah, I want to talk to him about GS Computer Support Services. This is his uh, company, and he's registered business address here with the Secretary of State. And uh, I know that he lives here. So I would like to talk to him if he's here. So where, where is he? And what is his work? He's driving a bus? He's a bus driver? He's a bus driver? So, and he lives here? And he's what, friend or relatives? How exactly Ball Winder related to you? He's your grandfather? How old is he? We, we can explain. We'll tell you who we are. Yeah. Yes, we are a company called Trilogy Media. Yeah. We go and look for people that are committing fraud and scams. Uh, we're not police, we're not detectives. We're citizen journalists that are coming to ask questions about why fraud is going on. This company that Ball Winder owns is called GS Computer Support Services, Inc. Have you this... heard about the name these, GS? No, nothing about them. I don't know. If you have any questions for him, we'll have to talk to him. Can you give us his number? Can we call him right now? Uh, here, here, here. The only, only reason we're saying this is we're here to help him because we're putting together a police report and a whole media publication about this company. Right. And he, uh, without hearing his statement, it looks very, very bad for him. Looks like so he's he, he, like, he, he might not be guilty, he might be innocent, but we need to hear his side of the story or else we're not going to be, we have to make assumptions based on the evidence that I have here. Um, I personally can't. Minor, I sure. No, I'm. I'm he uh, I understand. What, like, can you please tell me, like, he worked from what time? From nine to five? What is his shift? He leaves early. He he leaves early. He leaves early. We left a note on the door last week. Did you guys receive a note? Did he see anything? Uh, wasn't he was okay. Can you ask mom if you guys received a note? My mom was here. My grandpa was here. How many people live in this house? Just three of us, me and my mom. Okay. Here's what I would ask is I would suggest you urge him to call us. This is not to help us, it's to help him. We have a, a, a media following. This is going to be blasted on a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of media news networks. And it looks very bad for him. If I can get a statement from him and find out how he's tied to this, maybe he's not at all, I don't know. But maybe I need he's, to maybe I, he's a victim. But I need to know? speak to him. So I would ask that you urge him to please call us as soon as possible. All right. I left our number on the on the note. I could write it down again if you'd like. No, it's fine. Uh, I'll just... Okay. Please have him call us because along with our publication will be police reports and detectives showing up here as soon as possible. If he's innocent, 
we we were expecting like call from him. It's been a week since we came last time, and nobody called us. So which means nobody cares. If nobody cares, it means he's guilty. But to prove that he's not guilty, we want to hear call us and say like, hey guys, what's going on? Why did you come to my door? What's happening? Yes, this is my company. Or no, I don't relate to this company. So we want to hear anything from him. It's been one week. Nobody reached out to us. So please tell him it's emergency. Tell him to call us as soon as his bus um, um, is going to be over. Alright. All right. Are you Thank sure you. you don't want to call him right now? No, he can't take a call. Because he's... Okay. 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 Thanks for your help. Thank you, uh, Please urge him to give us a call as soon as possible. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. And if he's a grandfather, he's older. He's older. <sighs> Fucking A, this dude. dude. This is... This is... It just... <laughs> this is... Just, like Ben said, there is more questions than answers. answers. And the more we freaking dig deep in this pile of shit, the more questions we that's insane. He's elderly, elderly bus driver. So the grandson knows the company name. He doesn't know anything else about it. I don't get it. Wow. How many times my, my brain can be blown in one week? Fucking A, dude. Well, there, is, there is mom and, and, and son, and you definitely can see like a lot of hesitation, a lot of mm -hmm. nervous, a lot of trying to lie. She will think like, what is your husband name? Right. There is something shady, but meanwhile, why the owner of the company will be a bus driver? Again, it just it, it just sounds like another Larry situation. Uh, it's... You wanna call Ben really quick? This is fucking too much. Too much lies. If they have nothing to do in the using this grand grandfather, who is a bus driver, opening. LLC under his name, but who's fucking cashing all these checks? Who's doing all these shady activities? Son, mom, brother, sister, side chick? No wonder when we came at 10 o'clock, nobody opened because he's driving buses yeah. around. Yeah. At least right now, we know more. We know right now his schedule. We know that he's... Yeah. Grand... Um, grandfather? Should have asked... Um, who do you think? Oh, it's Pleasant Green. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. How are you guys doing? Good. Um, we're we, have, we, we have more we, more, you know, more questions, less answers now, of course. You, um, you, 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 you want to have your um, uh, brain get blown? <laughs> we're going to give you a couple information. Go ahead. All right. Well, we, uh, we just went to his house again, and we're parked outside now. We got someone to answer the door this time. It was a, like a what looked like a 16-year-old kid, mm -hmm. and then what looked like his mom. Um, they were skittish to talk at first, but we kept grilling them. And according to the kid, uh, Ballwinder is his grandfather, and Ballwinder is a bus driver. Um, he will leave like four or five in really the morning. Really early in the morning. Work until three. So the kid has heard of GS Computer Support Services, but he says he knows nothing about it. Um, the mother claimed to have poor English, so she didn't talk much. Um, Is that Hispanic family? No, in, in, no Indian, it's Indian family. Indian, yeah. yeah. It's Indian family, three people live in this house. We have two options. Either one, this is everything orchestrated by him, or two, somebody's using uh, his name, his whatever, like, uh, yeah. social and business name to do money laundry. He's a bus driver. Yeah, that's weird. That's really strange. So, um, what we did was we we urged him. We said, "Look, you know, we're we're you know in the media, and we are publishing a story about this. I would urge you to have him call me because I would love to get his side of it before we actually go public with this. Because if he isn't involved, we want to tell it right." So, and we had left him a note a week ago. No one had reached out. So, uh, the kid said he would do that. Um, apparently, he's at home around three. So, we're gonna see if he calls us in the next day or two. I figure if he doesn't. You know, we're also still trying to hunt down the uh, real owners of Bostoy. So maybe there's a part two to all this down the line, you know, but um, it's it's certainly weird and sketchy. Who are you texting? Ballwinder or someone else? Well, the guy I texted claims that he knows Ballwinder, but he wouldn't give me any information and he wouldn't answer my call. I called him a bunch of times. 
but the number I texted, according to my background search, said that that was Ballwinder's phone number. So it's either Ballwinder who's lying, or it's someone who takes care of Ballwinder that is doing his phone for him, or it really is somebody else's phone number and he's just trying to protect him. Either way, he wouldn't help at all. When we, when we asked him, like, are you this person? He was like, no, but I know him. Yeah. And whatever information you have, I will pass it along. But of course, it's been one week, nobody called us. And when we asked that kid, we're like, yo, do we need a number, you know, before we're gonna go and, um, you know, press charges and make a police report and release all this footage to press, to the press. He was like, no, we have the number, we have note, you know. Are you there aware that there's a website that says GSC Support Services and their address, their house's address is on that website? That's what I, that's, I know. That's why I wanna, I wanna ask him if he is aware of that. You know, the kid was a minor and we didn't wanna like, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, push that too far, but. And he's already, he was like, guys, I'm, you know, I'm a minor and I, I'm not supposed to even talk to you, but he give up more information than yeah. he's supposed to. He says like, yeah, he's a bus driver, he's my uh, grandfather and he's at work right now. Yeah. And he will be back after three. So we're like, oh, no wonder last time when we came at 10, 11, nobody was home because he was doing his shift. That's, I don't know, maybe it's a whole cover. It I just, have no idea what's going on. It doesn't make a lot of sense, so. So, so who registered the business, Ballwinder or someone else? Ballwinder Ball is the is... CEO and CFO, and then there's an agent of service who's just an attorney listed in Chatsworth. That's the other address you mentioned, but that's just an office. It's gonna be just the lawyer's office um, that, that I looked up, so. It's, it's Indian family, three people. Mom, son, and grandfather. Again, it's very bizarre. Like, like you said last time when we call you from from Delaware, uh, there is more questions than answers. And the more we dig, the more freaking questions. There's something going on. We oh, don't know the answer, but the, oh, the truth is out there. <laughs> oh, definitely. No, a, a thousand percent. Well, we have, I think, more than enough material here to at least expose this whole thing and, um, you know, not the answers that we want, but it's a, it's a step in the right direction. So, All these pieces, puzzles, it's like Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson from Four of Us. <laughs> yeah. Going, uncovering, and the more we uncover, we, we will go with the three questions, we will come back with the six questions or ten questions. Yeah. It's just, it's freaking crazy. Somebody's doing this. It is. I'm just like, well, I'm just like, what is happening? Props to you and Deo for finding yeah. this to begin with, and I'm I'm interested. Even after the video drops, I'm 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 real you know, stoked to keep following up on this and see what happens. All right, cool. Have a good Thanks, day. Guys. Have a good night, man. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below with your theories on this entire operation. I do want to address one thing. We do get a lot of messages and comments from people asking things like, 
why did you let them go, or why didn't you have them arrested? All I can do is ask you to please keep in mind that we are in constant contact with very powerful law enforcement authorities all the time with these kinds of things, but we're very limited about what we can share publicly about that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, there have to be real victims with very high amounts of money stolen in order to get the kinds of prosecutions that we all want to see. We aren't cops, and we can't hold people against their will. We are here to put boots on the ground, shine a flashlight on all these mysteries, and simply ask questions to learn something and hopefully hold people accountable. And of course, to take you all with us and experience the journey right alongside us. Thanks again, as always, for watching and supporting. Have a good one.